Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nur Atika Mursalim Tinoban Sahari from Blue Form. Okay, I want to introduce the types of display and gradients in color coding in the space. Number one is, the map concepts are similar with color codings in the space. It is uh, because the maps are one of the most successful and most widely utilized form of graphical communications. The color coding convention employed within current day map making can be dated back centuries, yet are familiar to most people who have ever used road map. Although conceptually similar, the use of color within chemical storage food display has only just begun to standardize the same ways. Number two is chemicals need to be stored according to hazard class in all chemicals for its storage areas. Okay, according to hazard class, chemicals need to be stored in all chemical storage area it is because as what we know chemical is the most dangerous thing and we don't know that they will be good neighbor or will react with one another and possibly can cause the damage to the lab and harm the building occupants. Now the third one is um, color are an important ways to communicate hazard to the workers. The why colors are important way of communicating. For example, if we are at a situation which is we are in the building or industry or um, factory, if we see the red, uh, the red color or red signboard or we alarm and our mindset will change to oh, that's a danger. It is because colors plays a really important role in the world which is we live. Color can sway thinking, change action, and cause reaction. That's why color are important ways to communicate with uh, hazard with the next is number four is the only reliable way to ensure quality color design is to ensure that human factors engineering is properly integrated into the design. The last one, the last but not least, color guidelines can provide that human factor professionals with a checklist of the important usability concern related to the color. And in the process, they can also uh, be used to focus interaction with color consultants. Thank you. A very good afternoon to Dr. Dalila and to my fellow friend. I am Kalictus Alvarius from Group 4, which is our topic is type of display and guidance in color coding in display. So I will go further with set design standard requirement. Based on the Hashim research, sign are used to assist with the communication of information about hazard at the workplace and to provide advice about responding in emergency situation. These guidelines are designed for ensure a consistent approach and standard of presentation for all safety and health related sign and for the minimum requirement all supervisors shall ensure that the appropriate safety signs with the required color coding are used in the appropriate workplace location and red red background with white lettering and black marking shall be in in the basic color for the following danger signs, sign identifying fire protection equipment, and stop bar buttons or switches for emergency shut off or equipment. For yellow, yellow shall be the basic color for designating the following like cautions and physical hazard, example machine gun and others. And this is for design requirement. For mandatory action, it should be blue color, where it's sign geometric shape, circle, safety color, signal blue, uh, code draw 5005. Uh, for the information, RAL is the color matching system used in Europe. Uh, and contrast color signal white you can see the code here RAL 
9003 and graphical symbol letter color signal white for supplementary information it rectangle safety color signal blue contrast color signal white graphical symbol letter color signal white also and for safe condition the color, the color coding is green color where, where it's sign sign safe and safety color signal green contrast color signal white graphical symbol letter color signal white also and slap supplementary information geometric shape within the square safety color uh, blank contrast color signal white graphical symbol signal white also for warning warning we use to yellow yellow color sign equilateral triangle with radius outer corner and safety color signal yellow contrast color signal black graphical symbol signal black for information supplementary geometric shape rectangular safety color single yellow contrast color blank graphical symbol signal black for this prohibition we use red color where geometric shape is circle with diagonal bar and safety color signal red contrast color signal white graphical symbol signal black and information supplementary grammatical shape rectangle safety color single red okay for fire safety also used uh, color red but different symbol for sign geometric shape it's square safety safety color signal red contrast color signal white and graphical symbol signal white information supplementary geometrical shape within the shape safety color blank contrast color signal white graphical symbol letter color signal white and here the color coding and sign standard red it meaning for danger and stop it used for safety can and sign emergency stop bar or button or machinery identification of fire equipment for plural recent orange orange red it, it meaning for biosafety and label and container or blood and infectious waste for yellow it mean for caution and application tripping falling and striking hazard safety can container for explosive corrosive or unstable material for orange it for warning and used for part of machinery or energize and equipment that may cut crush or otherwise injure inside of transmission guide for pulley gear and others for green green mean for safety and it use on location of first head equipment and location of safety equipment such as respiratory respirators safety showers and blue blue for meaning in information and use for signs bulletin board specific rail, railroad warnings against starting using or moving equipment being repaired for black white yellow or combination of black with white or yellow in meaning for boundaries and it used for traffic or housekeeping marking stairways stairways direction and borders thank you hi assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is Nadizila Binti Mawahozi okay so I will uh, tell about the color coding for a machine for the introduction uh, any parts of a machine can create hazard should use color coding it means that not every machine uh, not the whole machine uh, should use a color coding but if just a part 
that can uh, ha- that can uh, that have a hazard uh, that can harm uh, the employee should have a color coding. Uh, color coding is to enhance employee safety. It means that uh, when we have a color coding and any parts of the machine, so employee can prevent uh, the any danger or uh, any danger or any risk that may harm themselves. So, uh, employee uh, should know that uh, when the machine have a color coding, so means that uh, that machine um, uh, have a hazard and danger for them. So, they should uh, be careful to use the machine. Next is uh, a communication relationship with around the environment can be established. So, uh, when the when we have a color coding at the machine, at the hazard or danger machine, so that uh, automatically, uh, employee know about the hazard uh, from that machine. So, uh, the supervisor will need to tell them uh, how harm or how dangerous the machine is. Next is express the characteristic that company will say that uh, so every single of color coding should use the standard uh, and it must comply with the act uh, assigned to a specific meaning that related to uh, safety. So every color coding have uh, their own meaning. So uh, it's different uh, with uh, type of hazard. So next, we move to color coding for a control device especially for a button. As you can see, uh, from the picture, we have a variety of color uh, at the button. Okay, so first color, we go to red. Function is emergency. Description, determines the need for answer in case of danger or emergency condition. Okay, typical uses for the red button is emergency stop of the operative machine. Uh, means that when the means that uh, red buttons is for the emergency and if emergency happen for the machine so uh, machine will shut down automatically and the operation of the machine will stop immediately so next time is a green function for safety uh, description uh, determine a state of a normal condition typical uses the start of a con the start control of a operative machine means that when the button or green button is on uh, means that the machine is in a normal condition and next we move to color coding of a light towers uh, basically light towers and signal lights have uh, is the same things but uh, for the light towers we con uh, we complete it uh, so simple okay for the green color condition of normal operation the green color shows that machine is in a, a safe condition uh, and have a normal operation for the machine. Okay, for the uh, when the red color occur at the light towers means that condition of dangers. Uh, when the red color is on, so means the machine have a problem with the operation, uh, and machine will um, automatically we shut down immediately and the operator need to investigate why the machine uh, turn on the red color. So next is white power machine uh, means that when the white color of button is on means that machine have a power and it can be run. So next is a yellow color condition of abnormality function means that the machine have uh, something wrong with it. So uh, the operator need to discuss and need to investigate why it happened. So next is a blue color. Uh, blue color needs of action by the operator. Uh, so uh, operator need to investigate the machine why it happened. So I think that's all from me. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Farhan Antwa and we're going to present you about chemical color coding spray. First is chemical storage color code. That is, uh, chemical need to be stored according to hazard in all chemical storage areas. 
That's mean uh, employee uh, kena simpan sesuatu chemical itu ke dalam uh, chemical storage areas and that chemical uh, cannot expose uh, begitu saja, cannot uh, terdetak begitu saja. Next is suppliers must use a color coding system for chemical storage classification. Uh, the suppliers uh, need to use a color coding system uh, on the container and that, uh, that which is led me to labeling and mengikut kepada uh, uh, refer to chemical storage classification. Third is to prevent accidental combination of two or more incompatible materials in the same space. Uh, contohnya, apabila terdapat dua uh, chemical yang incompatible and apabila uh, dua chemical yang incompatible ini dalam satu space yang sama and maybe it will be cause a dangerous situation uh, apabila uh, dua chemical ini are spilled and it will be mixed and then it will cause a explosion. Effort is chemical must be separate by space and even physical barriers to prevent an unwanted reaction. The next is secondary container labeling. The individual performing the uh, transfer a hazardous chemical to another container shall ensure that the secondary container is marked with the appropriate labeling information. Uh, this situation uh, will be blocked apabila uh, terdapat container chemical yang kecil dan ianya susah untuk employee untuk labelkannya dan ianya perlu untuk uh, tukar which is uh, tukar kepada secondary container dan untuk memudahkan untuk label uh, color code. So uh, that uh, labeling need to uh, appropriate labeling information. Kena perlu uh, label mengikut kepada uh, information yang perlu yang diperlukan. Uh, next is requiring for secondary or less center containers are more flexible. Uh, um, di mana uh, secondary container ini apabila kita nak melabelkannya dia, dia adalah flexible di mana uh, terdapat banyak opsi yang kita boleh lakukan untuk label secondary container. Option 1 is replicate Ship paper, that is mean uh, ambil semula uh, label daripada uh, container yang original tadi yang sebelum ini boleh ambil semula atau ibu balik dan letak kepada secondary uh, container. Next is option 2, combination of GHS level element. GHS ni adalah global harmonized system. This is a uh, lebih kepada sign ataupun simbol di mana um, GHS label yang masih banyak digunakan dalam uh, labeling container uh, chemical sebab ini mudah kepada pekerja untuk identify apa uh, hazardous uh, hazardous chemical dalam container tu. Next is option three is home count system. Option four is NFPA. NFPA ni adalah National Fire Prevention Association. Okay, next is JT Baker Color Storage Code System. JT Baker Color Storage Code System ni adalah satu company yang membuat satu sistem uh, untuk memudahkan kepada orang lain untuk melabelkan kontainer uh, mereka dengan warna. So, uh, JT Baker Color JT Baker Jadi mereka company ini ada uh, sistem uh, yang telah disertifikat daripada IS, uh, yang telah disertifikat dan punya ISO environmental. This system organize chemical according to certain properties and then assigns that property a color. Second, the idea is that chemical of the same color can be stored together separately. That means uh, chemical yang punya uh, color yang sama, contohnya biru and chemical that have a uh, chemical characteristic yang sama boleh store ke dalam uh, uh, boleh store bersama which is uh, safety to be stored together. 
Third is a uh, Shetty Baker storage color code system may be used in a case where the NFPA rating system does not adequately apply or describe chemical hazard, or an NFPA 704 numeric rating has not been assigned. Next is NFPA. NFPA is the National Fire Prevention Association. It's a global non-profit organization that promotes safety standards, education, training, and advocacy on fire and electrical vehicle hazard. The NFPA color codes are part of the NFPA 704 standard for the identification of hazardous materials. NFPA 704 is standard system for the identification of the hazard of materials for emergency response. So basically, our uh, NFPA ni adalah satu sistem yang um, dibuat untuk uh, emergency responder atau firefighter yang akan pergi kepada situasi berbahaya itu untuk uh, uh, apabila dia berada di situasi uh, the emergency station, uh, the emergency responder uh, can identify what that has it and uh, uh, the, the emergency responder uh, can emit the headset uh, easily and possibly after have a NFPA system. Next is JT Baker Color Storage Code System. JT Baker, ini adalah JT Baker Color Storage Code yang uh, mengenai uh, color code red, blue, yellow, white, green, grey, orange, and red. Okay, red code is the uh, chemical yang, uh, yang adalah flam flammable that is need to store separately only with other flammable chemicals in a flammable liquid storage area. Blue is a uh, toxic, that is uh, have a toxic on the chemical. And this chemical is hazardous to help if ingested, in help or absorbed through the skin. Yellow is the red bed or oxidizer. May react badly with water and or other chemicals and need to need to store separate from combustible and flammable reagent. Next is white. White is a corrosive and it may be uh, harm harmful to eyes, mucous membranes and skin and need to store separate from combustible and flammable reagents. Next is a green, grey, orange color code is for the general chemical storage. And for stripe, is the generally stripe, incompatible with other reagents of the same color code and need to store separately, for example, acid. Uh, uh, is a white and bases, which is a white with black national stripe, should be strong should be stored separately. Next is NFPA Rating Explanation Guide. So this is a NFPA uh, rating that is uh, have a diamond shape. So these are uh, the numerical which is uh, the rating of NFPA that contain a uh, number from 4 to 0 to 4 which is 4 is for the um, uh, in 4 is for uh, in the in the indicating to the severe hazard or dangerous uh, or the extreme danger 4 is for extreme danger and 0 is necessary for it's not necessary for warning there is no hazard. This is a characteristic for the chemical. And we have a hazard for blue. Red is flammability hazard. Yellow is instability hazard. And white is pressure hazard. So uh, this uh, 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 like the rating uh, 4 is for deadly, 3 is extreme danger, 2 hazardous, 1 slightly hazardous, and 0 is normal for the blue color. 
Red Diamond Hazard 4 is need to is below 70 Fahrenheit, 3 below 100 Fahrenheit, 2 above 100 not exceeding 200 Fahrenheit, 1 above 200 Fahrenheit, and 0 uh, will not be plain. Yellow uh, Diamond Hazard 4 may de detonate, 3 shock and heat may detonate, 2 variant chemical change, 1 else. Unstable if heat and zero is stable. For the white is a special asset that is acidically corrosive, oxidizer, radioactive, and water. They the red thing for this one. Uh, okay, this standard objective are estimated by NFA. First, design provide an appropriate signal or alert for the protective of what public and private emergency response center to assist in planning for effective fire emergency control operations, including clean up, to assist all detonated personnel, engineers, plant, and safety personnel in averting effort. Okay, this is an FPS 704 hazardous nuclear identification system. There is a science must be in location approved by the authority having during this jurisdiction and has a minimum mass to be imposed at the following location. First, two exterior walls or enclosure containing a means of access to a building or facility. Two, each access to a room or area. Three, each principal means of access to an exterior storage area. Four, if there are numerous areas where the emergency personnel could enter, then there should be numerous signs covering those areas. So, uh, these areas I need to uh, label NFA. So, uh, let's see, this is the example of NFA diamond. Uh, there are uh, kind of perlu letak kepada uh, container, kepada uh, walls, or uh, this one are uh, beans, and this one is container. Uh, need to label it. Uh, using NFA. Uh, that's all for me. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. So the next types is, is types as we know that part known as tube that can met from plastic, met from metal, clay, and also cement. And what the function of pipe? Okay, pipe function is to carry liquids, gases, vapors, uh, also oils and other substances. And pipe function also to protect the electric wire or cables. So next, the guidance is color coding of pipes. First of all, the color coding is very important to all industry or facilities such as construction site, oil and gas, uh, refrigerator systems, and other industry. This is because for safety, for people, workers, and for the property in, in the building. So, when have the color codings, it makes the job easy to a maintenance, material selection, and to identify hazard easy. And in color codings, there are many standards in place that concerning safety colors in organizations such as OSHA, Occupational Safety and Health Administration, ISO, stand for uh, International Standard Organization, ANSI or ASME, ASME, ANSI stand for American National Standard institution and ASME is American uh, Standard Mechanical Engineering and other standard that uh, industry will be used for the standard of color coding. Lah. Okay, for the next one is pipe color codings. Okay, they have uh, two ways to identify, identify pipe color coding. The first one is pipe color. The installation of pipe is according to the type of work that being carried on, and the pipe color is uh, being categorized pipe based on color, 
size and the thickness of the pipe. And the second one is pipe marking levels. This is a guidance what the pipe uh, carried inside and the direction of the pipe flow. Pipe color, for example, uh, the type of rocks is underground. Underground means uh, bawa tanah. So uh, we give an examples uh, at the uh, construction site when they need to install the pipes, water pipe or water supply underground. Uh, at the underground, they must use the blue pipe with the standard MS six to eight, and when the drainage pipe. They use a brown color with a uh, standard Malaysia standard 1063. Okay, this is the telecom cable and the black one. They use uh, the Malaysia standard 1034 and electric cable, the red one, MS1058. Yeah, so this is a type of table for commercial building pipe marking ini biasa digunakan dalam uh, dalam mana-mana industri pembinaan lah so uh, macam macam yang saya bagi nampak tadi uh, jenis-jenis pipe yang digunakan untuk pipe di bawah tanah okey macam kita lihat di sini dalam tables uh, service types drains so dalam construction site drains means uh, Sistem perparitan dan juga uh, sistem sanitari yaitu mengalirkan sisa-sisa kumpahan. So they use the bent color with the brown one. So this is refer to the st ANSI standard. Okay, for the next is pipe marking levels. Okay, this is uh, marking levels for industry pipe levels. Usually they they use. So as we can see. Uh, on the tables, for example, the content type is flammable. Flammable means uh, yang mudah terbakar lah. So the required colors is black on yellow. Black on yellow means that tulisan itu harus berwarna hitam dan dia punya background tu uh, warna kuning macam contoh di sebelah lah. For example, hydrogen. Okay, next for the ammonia pipe markings. Usually, this ammonia pipe marking have a guidelines and standards provided by the International Institute of Ammonia Refrigerator I IAR Blit number one one four. Atau kamu pengetahuan kamu ini adalah untuk uh, ammonia ni dia untuk industri yang pembekal makanan lah. Jadi, dia memerlukan uh, uh, pembekuan macam S box lah macam tu. Terang lebih macam tu lah. So, the, the orang pun ada sendiri punya standard Macam kita nampak Appropriation section is the name of specific name For HPL, contoh kita ambil HPL stands for high pressure liquid And the physical step Amunnya ada dua Physical uh, physical dia Mungkin dia berada dalam liquids Ataupun vapors Ataupun kita dikenali sebagai gas So, the pressure level pun Dia orang ada bagi tahu di situ Kalau dia high, uh, warna label tu perlu berwarna merah. Kalau low, berwarna hijau. So when the the pressure levels when high is 70 psi above, when low 70 psi lower. Okay, and there are the direction arrow where is the ammonia flow lah. Okay, next is marine and offshore pipe markings. In oil and gas, uh, they have their own standard that defined by the uh, international uh, standards organizations is ISO 147726. And the pipe markings is different with other standards because this standard is not uh, require a flow direction. Okay, so how to read the color code marking at the oil and gas rates? 
So for example, in this pipe, they have a main color and additional color. And the main color stands for the category of the of the substances and the additional color is for the usage of the pipes. Okay. So let's see. Okay, these pipes is category for the firefighting and the usage is for the firefighting form. Okay? So the answer is this. These pipes for category firefighting and use for firefighting form. So the overall, the, guideline, the guidelines for the labeling pipes. First, we must have the format standard. That the format standard is uh, according to the country what they use for the standard. Okay. Uh, as we Malaysia, we use the Marine Offshore ISO and US standard ANSI. Num and the number two is color shims that that I have uh, present the previous one. White text on red when the fire quenching fluids and other examples lah. Okay, and the number three is height and the text. The height and the text is according to the size of the pipes. When the pipes diameter is seventy pi. 75 centimeter until 1.24 centimeter. The text height must be 5 centimeter and the minimum level length. The label length is must 8 centimeter. Okay, so the guidelines for labeling pipes. The last one is visibility. Uh, ini uh, penglihatan lah. Contoh, uh, tempat kita letak itu label. For the first one. Uh, when the pipe is adjacent to change in direction, kita boleh nampak situ, contoh dia berlengkuk. Jadi, setiap lengkukan itu, dia mesti ada label. So, the number two is adjacent to all valve and flanges. Ini bila kita ada tu valve dia, itu, apa ni, kena panggil pipe ataupun bibir. So, we must have to put the labels uh, to all the valve. Nah. And the next one, the last one is both side of floor wall penetration. Jika ada penghalang dinding tu, kita tembus pipe tu. Jadi uh, dalam pipe tu yang sudah kena halang tu, dia mesti juga ada label. And label placement is relation to point of normal approach. Ini bermaksud bila kita contoh kita sebagai uh, consultant mau cek lah kondon pipe kan. Jadi bila kita masuk saja itu pintu utama kita sudah nampak uh, keberadaan uh, label tu lah. Jadi kita uh, senang mudah untuk kita uh, membuat uh, investigasi. My name is Asia. So overall, conclusion can be drawn from this topic. First, make it possible for workers to do work with this encoding since they can recognize the type of the materials or component through the colors that have been labeled. So for example, I have been experienced working in a factory. I see they usually use color coding in each of the machine. It's made easy to the workers to identify either the product or component is normal or abnormal because some of them mostly come from Bangla and Myanmar, Philippines and even Indonesia they can re they can really read or understand a few words from the instruction of method they have been given so they just been training to memorize memorize by using color coding so it's really so it easily and it's help for them to doing their work so second this encoding facility the maintenance work of machine or component the, the specifically use color coding in workplace because mostly the technician using color coding to doing maintenance and you can see especially you can see for Technician when while 
when they're doing maintenance towards machine they just see the the color of the wire okay okay last color coding is the most important thing in industry in the factory construction electrician manufacturing and also the culinary like um, hotel or bakery they use color coding each every types of component even the food by using a color coding because color coding is the method effectively method to minimize any hazard or accident that occur in the workplace so overall this color coding is the most important thing in industry that can also help to reduce or minimize any hazard or accident that can happen in the workplace that's all for today thank you for pay attention to us so if you guys have any questions you can ask and we will answer your questions according to our topic thank you